The Magic Lamp. Narrow gauge engines work very hard. They puff and chuff all day up and down the hills. One day, the winding gear that carried coal cars up and down the incline broke. The engines had to work extra hard, pulling heavy coal cars up and down the long, steep track. Until at the end of the day, they could ease their aching axles. That evening, Thomas puffed into the transfer yards. All the narrow gauge engines were there. Thomas was delivering steel winches and wires to repair the broken incline. Listen, Thomas, hooted Rusty. Scarlow is telling us a story from the hills. Long, long ago, began Scarlow. There was an old engine called Proteus. His lamp was so bright, you could see it for miles around. Proteus said it was a magic lamp. He promised that if any engine ever found the lamp, their wishes would come true. How would you know it was Proteus's lamp? asked Duncan. First, you feel a rush of wind. Whatever the lamp is near, Scarlowy chuffed quietly. Then you hear a strange creaking sound. And finally, he added, you see it flicker on and off, off and on. Peter Sam huffed loudly. I don't believe there's a magic lamp. Soon all the steel winches and wires were loaded into Peter Sam's freight cars. I have work to do, huffed Peter Sam. I'm a really useful engine, not a really silly one. The incline must be working by morning, so I won't be wasting my time looking for a silly magic lamp, he tooted proudly, and he steamed quickly away. The moon was bright. Peter Sam huffed and puffed. The magic lamp I know isn't true. It's just an old story and quite silly, too. Peter Sam clickety clacked towards a junction. Suddenly, he felt a great rush of wind. His axles rattled and his couplings creaked. What's happening? Peter Sam whistled. He was so surprised he puffed right past the junction and up the wrong line away from the incline. Peter Sam still didn't believe Scarlowy's story about Proteus's magic lamp, but then he heard a creaking sound, and his wheels began to wobble. Up ahead, a light flickered off and on, on and off, and then he saw it. It was just the fog man's lantern. It creaked and croaked, as it swung outside his cabin. Peter Sam felt better. He chuffed past. Peter Sam was now even further from the incline. Magic lamp I know isn't true. It's just an old story, and quite silly, too, he huffed quietly to himself. Then, suddenly, there was another rush of wind. Then, a creaking sound. And finally, a flickering light. On and off, off and on. The wind, the creaking sound, and the flickering light. Could it be Proteus's lamp, thought Peter Sam? Then he saw it. It wasn't Proteus's lamp. It was the light from a campfire at the children's campground. And it was the trees that were creaking in the wind. I knew that all along, sighed Peter Sam. But now he chuffed on even more slowly. Peter Sam was at the bottom of a steep hill, and now he was completely lost. He didn't know what to do. I wish I could find the incline, and I wish I could be safe at home in the sheds with the other engines. And I wish, Peter Sam puffed quietly, I wish I could find Proteus's lamp. Perhaps then my wishes would come true. Suddenly, 
he felt a rush of wind whip round his wheels. Then he heard the strangest creaking, croaking sound. And then he saw a flickering light that flashed on and off, off and on. It came from the top of the hill. Peter Sam gasped. It must be Proteus's magic lamp. He knew he had to go up the hill and find it. The wind whirred and stirred. The sound became a whooshing and a wheeshing, and the light flickered brighter and brighter. Peter Sam puffed to the top of the hill, and there was Harold the helicopter. His blades made a wind that whirred and stirred. The sound whooshed and whooshed as the blades spun around, and Harold's bright light flickered on and off. Off and on. Peter Sam was very surprised. Harold, he gasped. Hello, hummed Harold. I was dropping off some packages for the hill farms. What are you doing? I'm lost, Peter Sam said, and I'm going to be very late to deliver the winches and wires to the incline. No problem, old buddy. I'll show you the way. And Harold took to the air. His strong light shone brightly and showed Peter Sam the right way to the incline. Later, on his way home, Peter Sam couldn't stop thinking about what had happened. Maybe, puffed Peter Sam quietly, you don't have to see the magic lamp for your wishes to come true. Maybe it's enough just to believe in it.